Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a dupe video. This is the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This recently, ooh, this recently came out and I found this at Target and I was like, hmm, this looks really interesting. And I was like, what other setting powder do I have that's luminous right now that could possibly, you know, have a little dupe with this? And that was the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics big luminous powder this is a setting powder um so i want to start off a little bit with the elf one which does retail for eight dollars so this is supposed to give you a almost beauty filter finish it is silky weightless um and it drapes the skin for a dreamy blurring soft focus finish so the jacqueline hill powders um are also setting powders they give you a luminous finish they give you like that glow from within. It's a much more soft glow than like their typical highlighters that are super intense and radiant. Um, this does also set the makeup. I have used this one, it's very nice. Um, but the thing with this one is that this does retail for $32. So between eight to $32, that's a really big difference. The one with the e.l.f. only has three shades, light, medium, and I think dark or something like that and then the Jaclyn Cosmetics one comes with five shades so it's a little bit more larger of a range these both are cruelty free so that's something they have in common um let me look to see how much product is in the elf one because that's another thing that will definitely matter as we apply this on so you get 0.24 ounces 6.8 grams and then the one from Jaclyn Cosmetics you get 0.35 ounces so the one by Jaclyn Cosmetics definitely has more product than the one by elf but once again also put into consideration the price range so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to be applying the elf one on this side and the jacqueline cosmetics one on this side and we're going to be doing a wear test because that's the best way we can distinguish if this elf is a dupe so let's go ahead and start i think i want to start today with the elf halo glow powder i did pick this up like i mentioned in the shade medium i think i'm going to take this anastasia beverly hills clean brush that i haven't used in a while and i'm going to be dusting the elf powder like all throughout the high points of my face you can apply it all over however you want it it is a setting powder Powder, so it's gonna lock everything in place anyway so I'm just gonna be going in here and just taking it I'm gonna be starting and I'm just gonna be patting it in like really in the high point areas because when I'm applying a setting powder I don't necessarily want to look like I'm really really glowing like extreme glowing because that's what my highlighters for in my high points but I just want something that's gonna literally give me like that filter rest finish that the e.l.f. is claiming to do. So I'm just really setting in all the areas where I would set um, also up in the forehead just to kind of give it a little bit of life. I definitely do feel like I see a little bit of a difference. I feel like the powder definitely like brightened up those areas where I apply the powder. So I feel like they're kind of more highlighted in a way. This powder is definitely laying really nicely on top of it. So now I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics and I do have this one in carrots because this one is the one that suits my skin the best. Um, and let me just read the description for carrots because I wanna make sure that you know, I'm telling you guys our information. So it's ideal for light to medium skin tones. So um, I do have to say that for this one, I could even go towards Brilliant as well, which is the next shade up, a soft caramel glow, ideal for medium to tan skin tones. Um, so this one is definitely, from the times that I used it, a little bit more shimmery than the one by e.l.f. Um, so we're gonna be taking the J01 brush, which is the brush specifically for the Jaclyn Cosmetics um luminous powders and i don't want to take too much because i just kind of want to get the finish that i need but let's start down here okay so you guys can see the difference definitely this side is glowing a little bit more than this side over here uh it almost looks like you just have a very subtle highlighter on so i just want to work a little bit more lightly with the luminous powders by jacqueline cosmetics because i do want to make sure that it's still like a healthy glow and not like oh my god like she's wearing highlighter all over her face so let's go over here now this one i'm just going in very lightly and like almost bouncing it up and down because i don't want it to be like extreme coverage i just want it to be like a glow from within 
So I would always say just dump a little bit from the actual container onto the little lid because I feel like if you go straight into the container and you have this much product in there, you're in for a treat with the glow. Um, and I feel like the glow right now is good enough for us. I do think this Jaclyn Cosmetics powder is incredible, like especially for like summertime when you really wanna glow, even if you're not wearing any makeup and you're just wearing a little bit of tinted moisturizer or you're even just bare faced and you want like a natural lit from within look, I think this powder will look really beautiful just on its own um, without like so much makeup. And I feel like this side of the face has a little bit more of like a glow come through. Um, it's a healthy glow and I think it's because I made sure that I used the proper amount for me. I didn't go overboard with it. I used what I needed to use and called it a day. I feel like with this side, it's more so of a blurring, soft, soft glow effect. I'm not seeing any of that like highlighty finish shine. And I am also going to insert an video clip of me in natural lighting so you guys can kind of compare the two. Um, but right off the bat, I think that they both look very nice. I think it really much so depends on what type of finish you're looking for. The only thing that I've noticed from the times that I have used the Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Powder is that I feel like when I put it on, especially in this area, it tends to cling on to my texture. Um, and it also tends to kind of like enhance certain little blemishes that I have. So that's one of the reasons why I really like to kind of tap the product in as opposed to just dust it all over. So I'm gonna quickly go finish off the rest of my makeup. Hey guys, so I'm back right now. It is 5, 11 p.m. and I wanted to give you guys an update on this wear test that we have so far. So as you guys know, on this side, I'm wearing the Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Powder. And on this side, I am wearing my e.l.f. powder. Um, and I have to say, I feel like this side looks much better. I don't know what it is. I just feel like it looks more in place. I feel like this side just looks super like shiny and like glowy. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is wear this until the end of the day. I'm going to come back later and give you guys my final thoughts. So stay tuned. Now it is 8.52 PM. I've been wearing this for the entire day, as you guys know. Um, and I'm ready to share my final thoughts on whether the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder is a dupe for the Jaclyn Luminous Setting Powder. I have to say, I feel like the e.l.f. is actually better, in my opinion, than the Jaclyn one. Um, the Jaclyn one is very radiant. Like, it has those shimmers. It gives you a very highlighty finish, which I feel like if you're really going for that, awesome, amazing. Um, but I feel like this one gives you more so of a literally a blurred out effect. You guys can see how well this is still looking even after a long day. And I'm telling you guys, this is only between like seven to eight dollars. So I definitely recommend you guys checking this out. It does say it gives you a halo glow. So I think for my people that have oily skin, you may be thinking, oh my God, am I going to look super dewy? Like, what does that mean exactly? But honestly, like I'm saying, it gives you a soft blurring effect with radiance from within. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, Earlier, I do feel like the Jaclyn Luminous Powder would be great on just natural skin in the summer. I feel like it gives you that really pretty glow if you are looking to be glowing. I also do appreciate that with the Jaclyn Powder, you do have more shades. You have five as opposed to the e.l.f. You only have three. So it needs more shades so that it can fulfill more people because I feel like for the drugstore, you want to find your shade. You want something that's gonna be accessible because it is a good price point, but I mean, it's not gonna suit all skin types when you only have three shades. The e.l.f. is definitely a great dupe for all those blurring powders, all those soft glow powders at Sephora, and I'm talking about Laura Mercier, I'm talking about Hourglass, all those powders that are supposed to give you a radiance from within, I think this is a great dupe. I mean, look how beautiful the skin is looking on this side. But I feel like for my people that are on a budget and you know want to keep that budget for 2020, I got you covered with the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're new to my channel, become a member of family here on YouTube. I wouldn't want you guys to miss my videos for the world because I got you guys covered every single time I upload. And also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more dupe videos because I mean, I'm here for you. I'm here for the people. I'm here for the affordability. So give this video a big thumbs up. And that being said, I love you guys so much. I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.